Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another unboxing for you guys. Yes, I am back. So some of you may have realized I took kind of a little bit of a break throughout the summer, uh, just so I could spend a little bit more time with my boys and just take a step back, give my mind and my creativity a break, <laughs> and come back to you guys all fresh and ready. So there are two videos on my channel today. There's this unboxing as well as another unboxing, so you can catch that. And then I'm hoping that I'm going to be back to my five to seven videos a week is my goal. So I am super excited and I'm super excited for this video because there is a giveaway with this video. So I've been all about trying to do more giveaways on my channel, on my different social media platforms, just giving back to you guys to say thank you. And I work with some very generous, amazing companies that have donated product and sent product for that. And so stay tuned to the very end of this video and I'll give you all the details for the giveaway, what it's for, what you need to do, all that goodness. But let's talk about the Faith Art Box for the month of August from Creative Retreat Kits. So I've shared with these on my channel for several months now. I've been with creative retreat for like oh well over a year if not two years now I love their kits I think they're great and each month they are just really really cute and come out with different um, devotional content and uh, themes and things like that so um, this month we are talking all about uh sweet to the soul and so this is the devotional card here the devotional content is written by our very own julie she's with us on the design team she creates video content over on the creative retreat uh, youtube channel if you didn't realize they have a youtube channel i create over there as well as several of their ladies on the team uh, and so there's several videos that come out throughout the week using the monthly kits and we all have a little bit different style different products that or projects that we do and so it's kind of a nice way to see a variety of ways to use um, the kits each month so we've got Julie here and I quickly kind of read through her devotional content and I am so excited to study through this this month so we are focusing on um, you know kind of this key verse that we may have already journaled before we all kind of are aware of um, Proverbs 16 24 that says pleasant words are as honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones but she really dives in and digs in and kind of expands on this whole imagery of honey and um, the different ways honey is used and some of the healing aspects of honey and how words can be healing just like the healing um, properties of honey and talking about the importance of using kind words and how that can really be uplifting to somebody and so I just really love how she took something that we may have glanced over or have kind of surfaced studied in the past and just really dug in and pulled some ideas out that I hadn't even really thought of so I'm really excited to dive into her content here and it's not just one verse so she does have several verses up here that are going to be verses that you can study and journal as you work through the devotional content. So I love that you can kind of work at this at your own speed. So you could sit down and do it all in one setting, or you can kind of stretch it out over the month and maybe do, you know, once a week, look at each verse, come back to the, the devotional content, see what you pull out each week. Maybe you want to sit down and do it over the course of a few days. So it's really structured so you can kind of do it for however works for your um, timetable and that kind of thing. So, um, and then you also have a little bit of information about Julie down here, which I love. And then the reflection questions are actually in the back side this month. So you can see you get tons tons of devotional content and then your reflection questions are back here. You've got five um, prompts here that just kind of help you engage with the devotional content. Uh, I usually like to work through the devotional content, kind of pull out what I initially see and journal and then when I come back to it then I look at these reflection questions to kind of see where the author is kind of directing um, where she think where they think that we should go with the devotional content and the scripture. So and you also have your print back here so when you're done using your devotional you can cut this apart and use it to create tabs or tags or different die cuts and pieces like that. Um, if you're worried about losing the devotional content, uh, I mentioned in a past unboxing video, go ahead and scan this into your computer and save it. Now it is for personal use only, so please don't be scanning it and printing it and like handing it out all to your friends. That's not really the purpose of that. Um, that hurts Creative Retreat as a company. Um, and so I just wanna make that little note, but you can go ahead and scan that into your computer and keep it for personal use, even just maybe take a picture with your phone and keep it on your phone if you want to do that um, and then that way you can go ahead and cut apart and use you know all the pieces of the card and still have the devotional content and the questions there so there's a look at that now with that whole honey theme of course it's going to be all about honeycomb and bees and all that goodness so I'm excited so this month instead of fabric bows or enamel stickers we are getting a roll of washi tape which is amazing and this one is so cute. So it is one of those 
kind of white backgrounds which, which ends up being um, translucent when you put it down onto a project it just kind of blends right in and it's got gold foil detail which I'm obsessed with and it says these words are like honey sweet to the soul and so you've also got some little honeycomb pieces there so you can kind of cut it apart and use this to create a title you can layer it behind things maybe you want to um, use a strip of it on each you know Bible journaling entry that you do through this kit to kind of unite them uh, lots of different ways that you can use this washi I just think it is super cute. I love the gold foil detail there. So you do get a really nice size roll of that. You've got your three by four stamp set. Um, these are a clear stamp and they're really nice quality. So even these stamps that have are small and have a lot of intricate detail, you're still gonna get a very good impression with. So you've got a few different little droplets here. These could either be water or drops of honey, just depending on what you're using them for. You've got an outline and a solid image. So you could stamp um, this in a color inside of the droplet um, or kind of mix and match and do some different things with them there. You've got this really adorable little bee and then some honeycomb pieces. Again, you've got a solid image and then an outline image so you can kind of build upon that. I've already seen some very creative uses of this stamp here from the design team. Um, we have a Facebook group just for us that we kind of share ideas and information in and they've been sharing pictures already and they are just knocking it out of the park. It's amazing. So you're definitely going to want to check out the blog and follow the blog. I'll have that link down below as well as the YouTube channel so you can see how they're using the kit this month. And then of course you've got your words. You've got um, sweet, soul, honey, and words, and then are to my, your, and like. So you can kind of mix and match and make different uh, titles. The This font here is one that Creative Retreat has used in other stamp sets in the past. So you could pull those out and mix and match those to create even more titles and words and things. Um, you know, like this word sweet and soul and words. Those are words that you can use, you know, in quite a few um, journaling entries. So you do have that there, I love that. Next up, you've got your cardstock stickers. So you've got this one here that's got your word fetty. This gives you um, the color scheme for this month. Of course, you've got you know some varying yellows and oranges and then pops of blues and purple. Um, if you didn't know, yellows or orange, like orange is yellow and this purple are opposite each other on the color wheel. So if you're not familiar with color theory, um, these colors, it's like red and green at Christmas. Those are gonna pop off of each other. And so I love that this gives you a color palette that's already set up for you and makes it so that your pages look pleasing to the eye color wise if you struggle with that um, kind of flip through and use your creative retreat kits as color palette inspiration if you're having a hard time deciding what colors to use so I love that they they have it set up that way so you've got all of your words there I love that they are in this like typewriter font You've got some labels, you've got some honeycomb pieces, of course some bees and some flowers, and the Creative Retreat wonky hearts, which I love, and then these hexy pieces here, kind words, sweet to the soul, are like honey. These would be great to create tabs out of, so if you kind of leave them hanging off the top of your page and then use something like a powder tool or even just some baby powder, dust it on the back of the sticker that's hanging off of your page, um, that will remove the stickiness, and then you can use these as a tab at the top if you want. So there is a look at the uh, cardstock stickers and then you've got your alphabet so of course we have to have the honeycomb hexes and I think if I remember correctly there may be a purple hexy in a past month I didn't look ahead of time so let's look here there is a coral hexy um Yes, so December of 2017 was a purple hexi. It's a little bit different of a purple than this month, but you could pull that out and kind of mix and match it with your yellow. If this is still available in the shop, I will link it down below for you guys. But if you've been a longtime lover of Creative Retreat kits, then go through your stash and you may have um, that alpha that you can mix and match with this month's alpha. So this month is yellow and it is this really fun typewriter font. You've got a full alphabet, some icons, and then numbers and um, punctuation down at the bottom there. So there is a look at the Faith Art Box for this month. Now, if you didn't see, uh, Creative Retreat does have their own um, pigment and chalk inks. They released five new colors, which I talked about, I think, in... A recent video that I did with them. So they did release five new colors over in the shop. Um, we have Powder Puff Blue, Denim, Rose Corsage, 
Yield, and Mink. Now these, I went ahead and I bought myself a set and then I bought an extra set to do a giveaway with. So I had a whole bunch of extra points when you guys use my affiliate links. Thank you so much for that. I earn points to use in the Creative Retreat Shop. So I went ahead and used some of those points to purchase the five new ink colors to do a giveaway with. So um, this giveaway is gonna be running for the next week don't need Felicity Jane. That was my other unboxing. <laughs> um, it will be running for the next week. So the giveaway is going to end on August 8th. Um, I'll have all the details down below in the description box. To enter the giveaway, you need to like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Instagram at lindsaydecor413, and then you also need to leave a comment down below with either a theme that you would like to see in a future creative retreat kits um, box, or maybe a specific verse that you would like to see them cover. Uh, just give us some ideas. Uh, I, they do work out several months ahead of time, but I thought this would be a fun way to kind of see what you guys are looking for. Maybe there's um, something in that market that isn't hasn't been touched on yet in the Bible journaling world and you want to see that addressed. Um, so whether it's a topic or a specific verse, theme verse, something like that. So leave that as a comment down below and that will be your entry into the giveaway. Again, all the details as far as timing and all that will be in the description box, so be sure to check that out. Um, I will announce the winner on August 9th. I will respond to your comment down below, and I will also announce it over on my Instagram in my stories. So both those places um, is how you will be able to see who wins the giveaway. So again, all that information will be down below for you guys. The kit is now available, so definitely check out those links. You can go ahead and order the kit for yourself. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the giveaway. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.